awesome. It smells like shit. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's Megan, and right off the top, let's give this a thumbs up before I forget. And if you're not subscribed, you should subscribe. There's a lot of fun over here. I'm in this neighborhood north of Milwaukee called Shorewood. We've been here before. Firstly, before we go on a grand miniature adventure, getting a little bit of gas. I don't need gas, but you know who does need gas? The Yammy. The Yammy with so much power that he always needs gas. <laughs> I'm just going to park like a real dick, and if someone needs a spot, I will move. But here's what we're working with today. Here's my bike. Yeah, if you're new here or haven't seen my bike before, <laughs> I have a Ducati Scrambler Cafe Racer 2017 first year they made it. And I love this thing. And actually today in the vlog, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about the mods that I want to make. <laughs> Who are you looking at? <laughs> I'm going to talk about the mods that I want to make to this bike. I've already done a handful of things, but more could be done. And I would uh, like to spruce it up a little bit. I haven't really done anything this whole, like, honestly, I think in like a year and a half or two years. So it could use some TLC. I've been prioritizing other things <laughs> so here's a quick walk around of what we're working with right now i'll flash some photos to show you guys some stuff okay. nothing just showing your back admiring. <laughs> yeah just looking <laughs> so and we're off all right let's get it It is a gorgeous early autumn day, pretty humid so it feels like summertime and we're just trying to outrun a little bit of rain that's going to be hitting us this afternoon. We're just hoping that everything's alright. We'll get started on this conversation. So one of the first things that I'm planning on doing during this off season or this autumn winter is I want to do a tail tidy or fender eliminator. I don't know uh, what you call it. A lot of you might be like, why didn't you do that forever ago? <laughs> but it's something that I didn't totally hate the way the license plate holder looked, but it could just be a much cleaner look if I got rid of that. I think one of the biggest eyesores is the fact that that whole license plate holder is large enough to accommodate European plates. This is a Ducati after all. I mean, I'm pretty sure most bikes try to accommodate a broad range. But the American plates are like half the height and it just kind of sits there and then there's this big reflector underneath it. So, you know, it's not, it's not the most gorgeous thing. <laughs> so I could tuck that thing under my seat, uh, clean everything up a little bit. I think it'd do a lot visually for the bike. Good things for the lines. And another thing that I'm considering doing is different mirror situation. I actually do very much like these like tall huge mirrors i like being able to see a lot and actually what's great about these big mirrors too is i can put my suction cup mount right on them and it just gives me a lot more variety for video making because with these cafe racer handlebars uh these clip-on handlebars there is no like bar there's no handlebar hopefully you can see it <laughs> but there is no bar that goes across and it doesn't give me any real estate to put uh, a GoPro mount there <laughs> so I use these mirrors a lot to get that shot that looking back up at me and I do that by putting it on the right mirror pointing at me and then I keep the left mirror at my disposal and then of course I'm always looking over my shoulder so it's not ideal for safety but it's not the most uh, ludicrous thing to do to the bike <laughs> so what I've been considering is swapping out for these different bar end mirrors I've seen them on Astro Scrambler and then I've seen another brand with them on Revzilla and they are quite literally bar end they really do um, sink into the, the edge of the handlebar and then they have this kind of lane splitter mode or you can fold them in so that um, they take up less space that's really handy in the garage or um, I suppose while you're lane splitting that's not legal here <laughs> bless our hearts we wish we could especially on high traffic days but it's not half bad in Wisconsin most of the time, so we can be patient. Hopefully you can see some of the lake from here. This is just a beautiful vantage point. It's really overcast, so 
can't see a whole lot of contrast, but the lake is out there, folks. But yeah, those are the two easy things I can think of off the top of my head. I've been meaning to put these sticker decals on the bike for a long time, so I'll probably lump that in. And then maybe give you guys an updated walk around tour of the bike so there's something <laughs> worth noting. Can you imagine if I just like put some stickers on and I'm like, look at my brand new custom phase two Ducati Scrambler Cafe Racer. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I'm imagining doing. I do think that I will consider and do a bit more research on some performance upgrades on this bike. And on the note of that, like, there are the bigger Ducati Scramblers, and they're gorgeous and amazing in the Scrambler 1100s. But I just like do very much love this bike, and I don't, it would not be a good financial decision or practical decision for me to upgrade. I'm considering doing a whole designated video on, you know, why I don't intend to upgrade to Scrambler uh, 1100. Gosh, how gorgeous is this out here? I'm gonna be a little careful with these leaves. We're just getting those a little bit of changing leaves. This this road, you see a lot of motorcyclists on. Like it's just one of the best roads in town for relatively low traffic. You can just cruise, have a nice time. So anyways, I think that about wraps it up for my monologue on things I want to do to this bike. If any of you have this bike, you can let me know what you would do to it. There are some funny little cosmetic things that I've considered doing, but the labor involved would just be like kind of ridiculous. But I had considered changing all the like silver little bits and bobs to be rose gold not quite rose gold but that that muted gold yeah not rose gold at all but that kind of muted gold that the tire that the wheel base is it's this kind of luxurious a subtle gold and i think now that i you know felt that vibe it would be so nice to have all the little silver bits be that muted gold but it would just kind of like you know to what end <laughs> if i had all the money in the world maybe but i don't so that's honestly why i haven't done uh any big upgrade since integrating the tail light and uh, replacing the 54 panels because it's just time and money time and money <laughs> and when you've got freelance income that fluctuates and when you've got your own business you just try to pour everything into that that you can um, and I have other interests and hobbies wow that's a gorgeous house I never really noticed before so you can't see it because I don't have the helmet mount on but anywho I think that about covers it so thank you so much for tuning in like I said, you can go ahead and like it. I would consider subscribing if you enjoyed this. Most of my other videos are fun, wholesome, motor vlogs, educational. This one was a, a little bit more specific, but we would love to see you around. Go ahead, follow me on Instagram if you're interested. And until next time, ride safe. Bye-bye.